Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. No toots today. Just me, I'm afraid ladies and gentlemen. I am on Wine Glass Beach or Bay, whatever it's called. Oh! Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, looks like uh, looks like um, some other hikers have done the um, walk I've done but walking the other way or they just stopped to the uh, campsite the night and walking back now um, check out that sea absolutely beautiful uh, just been told um, by a hiker that there is some chance of water in one of the campsites at least <laughs> told me but it's gone straight out of my head by I remember where one of the um, water opportunities are and she's she's done the hike in a couple of hours so but I've got a frigging great backpack and she was uh, hiking quite light so it's easy not so hard to get to like some of the other more remote beaches so you can carry enough food to have a nice meal the first campsite anyway and, um... yeah ladies and gentlemen hello ladies and gentlemen um, as you can see I'm just walking on wine glass beach on in I should say the morning I think I'll be crazy not to do this hike um, yeah. Yeah, this beach is stunning man The sun is just rising, it's getting warmer, um, I think it's going to be a nice day and I'm going to be um, heading off on my hike soon and as you can see it's absolutely stunning, like um, I kind of don't want to actually leave here but I've only got so much water and there's no fresh water on the um, beach so um, I'm going to have to go to the next campsite. Um, well ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the uh, Peninsula circuit, uh, circuit track on uh, by um, um, Wineglass Beach. That's Wineglass Beach down there. The big circular walk that goes over the uh, one mountain and a lot optional extra of the tallest mountain on the way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, still going up the Peninsula circuit. Uh, track on by um, Wine Glass Bay with an extremely heavy backpack. Ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, Wine Glass Bay again down there. And this path I've just come up, still going up, and over there, view of the sea and the, the mountains I'm going over. And there's the path I'm just going up now. Quite high up now. Um, on the way to the top of the mountain, so a view down there. The path is kind of going along side the mountain up to the top, I think. As you can see, I'm just walking along here. There's an arrow there, path along here, and on the side, a bit of a drop. And the path is pretty wide enough to be okay. Going up the mountain still. Well, I'm certainly enjoying this trail. It's pretty awesome, actually. That's yeah, really nice. So anyone doing the uh, Peninsula Circuit 
from uh, Wangalas Bay. I'm worried about uh, fresh water to drink. I just found some just here. Um, it's very drinkable if you boil it or if you've got a water filter. Um, I've got enough water at the moment anyway, but so I'll leave it for someone else. But yeah, this water will be so it's not flowing, but it'll be safe to drink if you filter it or boil it. actually really good uh, just talking to an American lady who's hiking hikes around here and it seems pretty good so um, so sim one one hot of a hiker today on this trail she's just doing a long 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 day walk as I'm heading towards the next campsite apparently Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I am camped now on this lovely beach here in Cook's, Cook's Beach. I can tell you it's well worth the walk. Yeah, I'm pretty much coming down here to watch the sunset. And there's an incredible beach around here. And there's the sun over there setting. Good morning ladies and gentlemen from my uh, camping spot on Cook's Bay or Cook's Beach in the National Park, one of the national parks in... Um... Oh shit, my coffee is uh, boiling. 
There's my tent over there. It's definitely boiling. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to you later, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, wow, ladies and gentlemen. You uh, visit me on another beach. Oh, God, I forgot the bloody name of this beach now. But um, it's a very, very remote beach. Um, a walk away from uh, Cook's Beach, an hour's walk. And um, as you can see, no one on the beach apart from some boats out there. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just taking a walk along the beach, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. <laughs> really. And again, this is another beach I'm the only one on. I'm here at uh, Hazard's Beach and I'm at the campsite. However, uh, um, yeah, there's no water tank and the creek is looking like it might be backwashed salt water and it's not running that's very dry here but there is like a a cat or like a big 25 litre bottle of um, what looks like water um, it's got a water tap on it it smells like water um, um, but there's nothing saying about it I'm just thinking, is this like a water supply, emergency water supply, if anyone's not got any water? Um, I'm guessing it must be. Um, yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, you're joining me on um, Hazards Beach, near the Hazards Beach uh, ca uh, free campsite, uh, government campsite. Um, as they have all over New Zealand, loads of free campsites. I mean, I have to say, um, sorry, not New Zealand, Tasmania. Yeah, we are in Tasmania. As um, all of Tasmania has free campsites all over for tents and camper vans. This, obviously, this is um, well away from the road, so this is like a, a tent tent campsite. I mean, I think it could be just there for emergencies for people who've not got enough water for them. And then, um, so if you're like in an emergency situation and you phone up the national park or whatever, saying, oh, I've run out of water, I'm dying of dehydration, um, they probably uh, suggest, I'm just guessing, I might be wrong, but suggest you drink this water here. I think it's for emergencies. Which is fair enough. I have enough water. I'll use it sparingly. I've, I've got like a two, maybe litre and a half that I, I can drink for tonight. Then I've got another litre which I can use for cooking and another litre which um, I will use for walking back tomorrow. So I think just about right. And I've also got some bread left. So, I, so I've got some food. I don't even need to use water as well. So... But here, yeah, I was the only one camping at Cook's Beach last night, luckily. The, luckily, I missed the group of like about 25 people. So I'd be a bit not so peaceful, peaceful there tonight. But although, you know, it's always nice to be camping by people, not just camping on your own all the bloody time. So yeah, it's cool meeting people and stuff. But tonight, I just found, on this hike, I just fancy just chilling out on my own. So... Yeah, it's quite nice, and yeah, this is my little camp spot. Here's my solar panels and charging my stuff up. Um, I got luckily this. Um, I got like three G here, so <laughs> it's not so remote. We can keep in contact with the rest of the world. Actually, you may wonder. I am filming with my mobile phone at the moment instead of my GoPro because I'm not sure if any of my um, videos have been copying to the hard drive I'm carrying. So just just in case I've run out of memory card on it so just in case I'm, I'm videoing now on my phone state of that water I mean it stinks so stagnant and salty <laughs> there's no way on earth mate I'd drink from that even after filtering and um, 
bloody boiling, no chance. So, um, yeah, definitely bring water if you come to this beach or do circuit. You need at least four litres, I think, when it's dry. Oi, 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 leave my bag alone. Leave my, oi, oi, go, go, go. Wow, good morning. Um, I'm still walking on the uh, um, path around the peninsula, which I cannot pronounce. Too small to be a kangaroo. Yeah, you see loads of these everywhere along the, um, in Tasmania. Yeah, they're usually quite run off as soon as you get close to them. <sighs> anyway, still walking on the, um, circuit on the peninsula. Yeah, at the moment I'm, I'm hoboing uh, Coles Bay. Um, there you go. There's the mountains over there off the peninsula. I just walked. There's the bay over there. And um, just flying uh, some chicken. There's my tent where I'm high bowing. Um, yeah, so um, looking good. Fun to 
Thanks to all my subscribers. Without you guys, it'd be pointless doing these videos. So if you haven't already, please subscribe.